What's going on guys? This is Joe. And Amy. We are here, as you can see, to open some Amonkhet bundles. As you can see from the title down below, this is not just a regular bundle opening. This is going to be a fiancé finance bundle battle. If you're unaware of what that is, Amy and I have a show on this channel called JAR, Joe and Amy Review, where we discuss the stories that are posted on Magic's website. And in that, sometimes we agree, sometimes we disagree, but we are always civil because we do enjoy each other's company. That's kind of how it works. But and enjoy analyzing stories. Correct. But, you know, it's and not about arguments. <laughs> it's about analyzing stories. Correct. And so... Once a set, we come together and we each get a bundle, or back when they were fat packs, we open them up and we see who gets more valuable cards. And whoever gets more valuable cards is the winner, and the loser suffers a form of punishment. At the end of this video, you will see linked the other videos like this one, uh, but this one's going to be a little bit of a twist, and we'll explain the punishment at the end. This bundle is Amy's, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to her. Thank she you. can keep track of that. And I'm going to open this one, mine, for all of you. Um, I will go over quickly the, the add-on stuff that's in here. If you're fully unaware of what a bundle is or how it may be different than a fat pack, if you haven't been around since the changeover from fat packs to bundles, uh, as you can see, it specifically says, now with 10 boosters, so that's one thing. Um, and, and then, because I've showed it to you, then Amy will not show you all the add-on stuff that's in hers. She will just get right to the opening itself. So here's this little box here at the bottom. Probably not a bad place to hold dice, um, life, life dice or uh, D6s or things like that. Um, we've got the actual box itself with all the stuff in it, and we've got the little uh, player's guide, storybook, whatever you want to call it, uh, in there as well. So we'll move those off to the side. Let's open the box itself. Inside the box, as you can see, perfectly sectioned off, we have the Lazatep D20. Move that off to the side. We have the land pack, as you guys can see there. Get rid of that. And all of this stuff. We have interesting. I actually didn't know that this was in here. Apparently we have, I could just throw it on the table too, a token pack. Oh. That's pretty sweet because this is the, um, the token for the mythic Embalm Angel. Uh, and if you flip it over, there's the just a regular old zombie token. There are a lot of tokens in this set with all the Embalm, which kind of makes sense then that they would have it for you, but I just didn't know that they had that, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, yeah. I feel like they should do that on a more consistent basis, maybe. But I like it. Yeah, I mean, with smaller sets, they might not, just because there aren't as necessary. many tokens. Right, so, because uh, they just use a lot of the same ones from other sets and stuff. But we have 10 packs, and by we, I mean I. I'm probably going to say we a lot, because I'm used to doing it for our videos and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, well, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see, and I'm going to get to opening. I'm going to start with the Battlefield Scavenger Pack. Let's see what we get uh, if you go and watch those other videos. Um, I guess I'll advocate for you to do it because I enjoy, you know, you guys seeing the cool stuff that we've worked so hard to make. But at the same time, you don't necessarily need to stay all the way to the end to see who wins. You know, it it's fine. It's it's totally an even distribution between Amy and I. It always has been. Totally. <laughs> we start with an ancient crab. Desert Ceridon. Forsake the Worldly. Compelling Argument. Initiate's Companion. Dune Beetle. Horror of the Broken Lands. Evolving Wilds, classic Evolving Wilds, a Hooded Brawler, the River Serpent, Labyrinth Guardian is our first uncommon in our first pack, Honored Crop Captain for a Gold Uncommon, and Exemplar of Strength. And our first rare or mythic is... A Scattered Groves. Not bad. Dual lands are money, um, at least in comparison to a lot of the other rares and mythics in the set. So there's a Scattered Groves. I'm not upset about having that. Behind that, anything else? Nope, a Swamp and a warrior token. Scattered Groves is not a bad way to start. Uh, we go move on to an Oketra pack. <clears throat> Oketra the True, the Cat God. Wouldn't mind seeing some gods today. Uh, unless it's Amy opening them. Then we have a, <laughs> then we have a Fan Bear, Cancel, Thresher Lizard, Jeru's Resolve, Shed Weakness, Doom Dissenter, Compulsory Rest, Winds of Rebuke, Final Reward, lots of, like, removal or tempo cards. 
uh, in a row. Dissenter's Deliverance. Sensor is our first uncommon. This isn't bad. Uh, Kefnet's Monument. And a Gale Strike. I love the art on this card. It's so cool. And our rare or mythic is... A New Perspectives. Also not bad in terms of uh, Constructed. I'm more of a limited player, and this card's not amazing in limited, but uh, in Constructed, this card has gotten there, so uh, that could also be something as well. We'll be obviously checking the prices more specifically at the end, and we'll kind of cut in between and let you know uh, what that looks like for us. But behind New Perspectives, an Island, and an Unwavering Initiate token. So there's the Unwavering Initiate and Bomb token. We move on to an Honored Crop Captain. We get in this pack, come on, there we go, a Cartouche of Knowledge to start, Nimble Blade Kenra, Fan Bearer, love me some Fan Bearer, Cancel, Spidery Grasp, a Blighted Bat, a Horror of the Broken Lands, Evolving Wilds again, Hooded Brawler again, River Serpent again, True Heart Twins, a True Heart Duelist, lots of True Hearts, and an Angler Drake, some sweet uncommons, and our Rare or Mythic, can we keep up the sweetness? Eh, it's all right. It is Mouth to Feed. I like this card again in Limited, but for value, it's not really there. Behind Mouth to Feed, a Plains and uh, a Punch-Out token card. Or counter card, I should say. Here's a Curator of Mysteries pack. We start similarly to the way that we started before. Hey, look, a Cartouche of Knowledge. Followed by another Nimble Blade Kenra, a Quarry Hauler, an Unburden, an Emberhorn Minotaur, Cradle of the Accursed, Floodwaters, Stinging Shot, Wasteland Scorpion, Time to Reflect is our first uncommon. That came on maybe a little quick. We might have a foil in here. On Crop Champion is our gold uncommon. And Seraph of the Suns for a very expensive 4-4 Flying Indestructible. And our rare or mythic is... Boo! A Harvest Season! <laughs> <laughs> this card's bad no matter where you play it. Uh, anyway, Harvest Season. Behind Harvest Season, I said I thought we had a foil. Was I right? I was. It's a foil common, so value-wise that's not good, but it's actually a very beautiful looking common in uh, foil in Shimmer Scale Drake. That's really, really nice. The background looks great. The Drake itself, not so much in foil, um, but the background and the birds look really cool. Why would they do that? It's called Shimmer Scale Drake. That's a good point. They didn't put any of the shimmeriness on the scales of the Drake. It's a very good point. I could not tell you. Who thought that one up? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we'll write a complaint. Oh, we won't write a complaint. Uh, behind Shimmer Scale Drake is a full art forest. That's sweet. First full art. Uh, and wow, the Glyph Keeper uh, Embalm token. I actually didn't know that I had this one. Obviously, if they're all in the token pack, I did. But here's a Glyph Keeper Embalm token. I think I, I think I had the Mythic one, but I don't think I had the Glyph Keeper. Uh, we move on to a Combat Celebrant pack. Let's see, oh my goodness, what we get in here. You're starting to open packs like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Ripping them to pieces. Illusory Wrappings, Pathmaker Initiate, <laughs> Mighty Leap, Benefaction of Ronus, Pitiless Vizier, Supernatural Stamina, A Stinging Shot, Magma Spray, very nice. Beautiful art on Magma Spray. Inoketra's Name, Avon Initiate, Bantu's Monument is our first uncommon. Crocodile of the Crossing, sweet one, is our second. And Vizier of Deferment is the third. And our rare or mythic is... A Bounty of the Luxa. Beautiful card, fun and interesting for limited. Uh, I don't think it's there value-wise. But there's the Bounty of the Luxa behind it. A forest and a cat token made by the Regal Caracal. Here is another Battlefield Scavenger. If I could open it, there we go. As Amy said, I'm... Slowly turning into someone who's unable to open stuff. We have a Forsake the Worldly, a Seeker of Insight, Pathmaker Initiate, Ret Crop Spearmaster, you saw it, Initiate's Companion, Dune Beetle, Evolving Wilds, Hooded Brawler, River Serpent. I feel like we've seen that pattern at least twice before today. <laughs> Compulsory Rest, Gate to the Afterlife, uh, once... At, at the time that you're watching this video, it very well may have already been spoiled. Uh, but so far, I have not seen the God Pharaoh's gift card spoiled um, for Hour of Devastation. We'll have to see if it's good and if it makes this card good. Uh, Defiant Great Maw and a Cast Out. Very sweet, uncommon. And our rare or mythic is a... Oh my god. A Dispossess. 
What a garbage card. This card, I have seen this card last picked more often in draft than some of the bad commons. Uh, here's a Dispossessed behind that, a Mountain, and a Zombie Token. Uh, we have an Oketra pack. I didn't even add Dispossessed to the pile of things that I'm going to look up later. If I'm wrong and it's worth money, then that's fine, but it's it's literal garbage to me. So, uh, And it's my box. Rude. It's my box, so if I lose out on money for it, it's my fault, but that card's bad. Uh, Bloodlust Insider, Fanbearer, Tokrop Skirmisher, Minotaur Sure Shot, uh, Cursed Minotaur, Lots of Minotaurs. Shed Weakness. Impeccable Timing. Luxa River Shrine. Horror of the Broken Lands. Evolving Wilds. Warfire Javelinier is our first uncommon. Time to Reflect being the second. And Watchers of the Dead being the third. Our Rare or Mythic again is... A Curator of Mysteries. Not bad. It's on uh, pack art. Um, but I don't think it's valuable. But here's a Curator of Mysteries. Behind it, a Swamp. And another Regal Caracal Cat Token. We have three more packs left, and this thing needs to pick it up, because I do not have stuff. And I don't think Amy needs any more help knowing how to beat me in these Fiance Finance Bundle battles. I definitely don't. <laughs> <sighs> and we have the heckling section. We have a <laughs> Sacred Cat, a Cancel, Bloodlust Insider, Fan Bearer, Scarab Feast, Pouncing Cheetah, Evolving Wilds, Jesus, Hooded Brawler. How much you want to bet there's a River Serpent behind this? Hey, look, a River Serpent. Behind that, Compulsory Rest, Cryptic Serpent is our first uncommon. Faith of the Devoted is the second. And Uncropped Champion is the third. And our Rare or Mythic is... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Liliana, Death's Mastery. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty sweet. I like Liliana, I like Planeswalkers, uh, and I like value. And this card does it all. So, I'm gonna leave that on the side. That's what I'm gonna hang my hat on. I still got two more packs left. Behind Liliana, just an island, and another counter punch-out card. Curator of Mysteries is our second to last pack for my kit. Then we'll move on to Amy's, which will not have cards as good as Liliana in it. Maybe not, but maybe I'll have a bunch of not as good cards that equal the same amount. Nope. Uh, we have a Winged Shepherd. <laughs> a guy can dream. Essence Scatter. <laughs> Quarry Hauler. Unburden. Blazing Volley. Takrop Elite. Floodwaters. A Gift of Paradise. Wasteland Scorpion. A Sixth Sense is our first uncommon. Grasping Dunes is the second. And Baleful Amit is the third. Baleful Amit being probably my favorite card in this set. Uh, our rare or mythic is an Anointed Procession. Very nice. It may be a rare, but this card is actually pretty valuable with uh, its prevalence in standard. Everybody loves making double the number of tokens that they would normally make. And with the token strategy decks that could be made, uh, this is actually a viable option. Behind Anointed Procession, a Foil Common in Stinging Shot. Not a bad foiling pattern either. The uh, the bird or the flying thing that this guy is about to shoot with the stinging shot is pretty sweet in foil, as is the magic around the edge of his arrow, um, plus the kind of clothing that he's wearing on his body looks really, really cool. So there you go. Pretty sweet foiling pattern on the stinging shot. Behind stinging shot, another full art forest, and a snack token that you get from Hepatra. Last pack for me is a Combat Celebrant pack. Let's see if we can get more things, although Anointed Procession and Liliana is a pretty good way to bolster myself, but um, we'll see. Doesn't automatically mean I win. We have a Red Crop Spearmaster, Seeker of Insight, Spidery Grasp, Blighted Bat, Those Who Serve, a Slither Blade, Gift of Paradise, Takrop Elite, Violent Impact, Painted Bluffs, Kefnet's Monument is our first uncommon. Battlefield Scavenger is the second. And Grim Strider is the third. And our rare or mythic is our last one. A Canyon Slew, another dual land. Not bad at all. These are all kind of incidental things that can add up to help me out a little bit. So there's the Canyon Slew. Behind that, anything else? Nope, a Swamp. And an exerted, embalmed, brick counter, minus one, minus one counter thing. So, uh, as you saw, I'm probably going to be hanging my hat 
heaviest on Liliana. We're going to cut and we will get back to you with Amy's opening in just a sec. So as you can see, my hands have gotten a lot more feminine. Uh, Amy is going to start opening her bundle here for all of you. Uh, we've started it a little bit already. Uh, again, she won't show you all the accoutrement, etc. in there because you've already seen it and there's nothing different there. The things that will be different are the things in the actual packs themselves. That's fine. <laughs> are the things in the actual, we could break the table, who cares? Um, the things in the actual packs themselves, which would be why we are all here. So. Take the packs out, leave everything else in, move this stuff off to the side, and let's get started. Once you get your first one, I will zoom in for you here. Very good. We have a Curator of Mysteries pack first. Again, I still say we. These are all Amy's, and she is already having trouble opening them. Yep. <laughs> of course. <laughs> all right. We start with... A compelling argument. Thresher Lizard, Ret Crop Spearmaster, Ornery Kudu, Cursed Minotaur, Nef Crop Entangler, Cartouche of Ambition, a Shimmer Scale Drake, Cradle of the Accursed, Oshra Cultivator, a Synchronized Strike, a Faith of the Devoted, a Lay Claim. Nice. Very nice uncommon. And our Rare or Mythic is a Pyramid of the Pantheon. Eh, Value-wise, not so much, but uh, that's fine. Um, after Behind Pyramid of the Pantheon, anything else? Nope, just a Plains and another Punch-Out counter token. Uh, we have a Combrat Celebrant pack next. In there... There you go. Yeah, that opened pretty nicely. Better. Yay, Ancient Crab. <laughs> ancient Crab. Amy enjoys th that card quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Minotaur Sure Shot. An Anointer Priest. That's pretty art. I like that. Ta Crap Skirmisher. A Quarry Hauler. Wander in Death. A Trespasser's Curse. Final Reward. Lots of black cards in a row. That's yeah. so sweet. Evolving Wilds. A Cartouche of Strength, best nice. Cartouche. Uh, Nest of Scarabs is her first uncommon in this pack. I love that art, too. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, it's so great. It's really cool. And if you have a good deck, it kind of feels like you're being overrun by those Scarabs. Uh, <laughs> Decimator Beetle for a gold uncommon. Kind of seeing a theme with this pack. Yeah, no, definitely seeing a theme with this pack. Crocodile of the Crossing. Uh, and her rare or mythic is, wow, pull from tomorrow. That's not bad. It's not super, super valuable, but it's up there. I like that card a lot, and it... it does well in limited and constructed. It's a great card. Drawing cards is important. Uh, another full art forest. The mm -hmm. only full art land we've seen today is full art forests. Mm -hmm. uh, and behind it, uh, an insect token for your nest of scarabs. Aww, really obvious cute. theme. Yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> when he's eating you alive, he's not so funny. Oh, uh, whatever. Battlefield Scavenger is next. <clears throat> uh. Oh, the worst. <laughs> the corners. The corners. Okay. All right. We start <laughs> with a Desert Ceridon. Forsake the Worldly. Mm, that's really cool, that art. Yeah, it's a good sideboard Love card. That. Some people can main deck it because it has cycling if they feel like it. But Seeker of Insight. A Pathmaker Initiate. Greater Sandworm. Love mm. that guy. Unburden, Impeccable Timing, Luxa River Shrine, Horror of the Broken Lands, Evolving Wilds, A Vizier of Remedies, Spring to Mind, and A Trial of Solidarity. And her rare or mythic is Never to Return. Also not a bad card in terms of value. Um, as Amy, I guess, predicted, she's getting kind of smaller, incidental, valuable cards that hopefully will not add up to Liliana Anointed Procession. Hopefully. Uh, and then, then a Forest and an Anointer Priest Embalm Token. <clears throat> Moving on to an Oketra the True pack. We'll see if Oketra has anything for you today. Let's see if we can open this somewhat decently here. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. <laughs> We start with a sacred cat, yeah. lifelink kitty. Cancel, bloodlust insider, 
Fanbearer, sweet, love Fanbearer, Dune Beetle, Initiate's Companion, Cartouche of Strength, Green Again. Cartouche, Pass <laughs> Cartouche, Evolving Wilds, Impeccable Timing, Zenith Seeker is her mm. first uncommon, Synchronized Strike is the second, and Trial of Zeal is the third. And a Heart Piercer Manticore is her rare. Not super valuable, but it's a sweet card. Oh. oh. Okay. Nice. That is very nice. That is a foil rare. Let's see if you can catch the foiling pattern. Try it. Uh, uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bit. bad. So there's the commit to memory again. The problem with the split cards is that the art is not super prevalent because the, you need two text boxes. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of hard to see it. it. Commit looks really good. Memory is kind of hard to tell, uh, but uh, there's a there foil, there's a foil rare aftermath card in commit to memory, which add it to your valuable cards pile. <laughs> Behind that is a mountain and a warrior token. <clears throat> All right. We're on to an honored crop captain oh. and a curator of mysteries, but an honored crop captain first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. No problem. We have a mighty leap to start. Ancient Crab again. Desert Ceridon. Forsake the Worldly. Giant Spider. Mm -hmm. Dune Beetle. Lots of duplicates for us today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Luxor River Shrine. Hooded Brawler. River Serpent. Unwavering Initiate. A Lord of the Accursed. Like is your first song. uncommon, Zombie Lord. Start to finish for another Aftermath card. And Edifice of Authority. I love that card so much. And her rare or mythic is an Aven Mind Sensor. Not as valuable as I assumed it would be when the set first came out, uh, being a reprint from Future Sight, um, which is now, you know, no longer looking to the future. It's here, um, but it's, it hasn't been as impactful as I kind of expected it would have been. But here's an Avon Mind Sensor behind that. I'm sure this one looks nice in foil. Yeah, probably. If, you know, the like eyes a, and the, the staff. Eyes and yeah. The, yeah. Ice Swamp and a Punch Out Counter Token. Very good. We move on, as you guys saw already, to the Curator of Mysteries. There you go. We have a Retcrop Spearmaster to start. Hieroglyphic Illumination. I love that art. <laughs> it is cool. Crazy really, good. really cool. Fling. Pitiless Vizier. Spidery Grasp. Neff Crop Entangler. Oshra Cultivator. Shimmer Scale Drake. Blazing Volley. Painful Lesson. Start to finish again is the first uncommon here. By force is the second. And destined to lead is the third. A lot of aftermath cards for you. Yeah. And a rare or mythic. Okay, well, there you go. There's a mythic. <laughs> There's a, a relatively valuable card. You know, yeah. whatever. No big deal. Uh, in Hazaret the Fervent. It's actually getting a little bit closer now, and that's a damn shame. She's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> There's Hazaret the Fervent. Behind Hazaret, just an island. And another punch out counter. We have a Combat Celebrant next. In the Combat Celebrant pack, we have Jeru's Resolve to start. Hecma Sentinels. Nimble Blade Kenra. Sparring Mummy. Wander in Death. Greater Sandworm again. Trespasser's Curse again. Final Reward again. Very nice. Evolving Wilds. I've got like 80 of those. Cartouche of and strength. And green. Cartouche of strength. Green Every cartouche, time. best cartouche. Doom, uh, devoted, excuse me, crop mate is the first uncommon, a sweet one. Renewed faith, kind of following a theme. And gale strike. And the rare or mythic in this pack is a Drake Haven. Not super valuable, although a lot of people love it. It's a great card. So there you go, Drake Haven. Another full art forest, because we're Again. not going to get a full art land that's not a forest right. today. Right, apparently. <laughs> and behind that, another warrior token. We got three packs left. We start with another... I'll try to speed it up a little for you. We have a battlefield scavenger. I, I can tell I'm taking a long time. 
It's fine. All right, so we have illusory wrappings. Oh, I'm sure this one's nice and foiled. Too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Pathmaker Initiate. Mighty Leap. Another Ancient Crab. There you go. More Ancient Crabs for Amy, the better. Unburden. <laughs> I don't want crabs. That's fair. Pouncing Cheetah. It's the second time we've made that joke on this channel. Although the, the old videos nobody watched. Uh, impeccable timing. <laughs> Luxor River Shrine. Horror of the Broken Lands. Evolving Wilds. There you go. Embalmer's Tools is the first uncommon. I feel like I haven't seen this card before. <laughs> it's because it's bad. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, it's intriguing to me. Exemplar of Strength. And Oketra's Monument. And her rare or mythic back there is... Ha! That card's terrible. A Cascading Cataracts. It's so pretty, It's though. a beautiful card. It is absolutely gorgeous art-wise. Value-wise, it is literal nothing. But that's fine. Cascading <laughs> Cataracts. No, the... you can have it. That's fine. Uh, a Plains and an ad, boo, an ad Burn. card. Amy automatically loses. Ad card. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oketra the True is second to last. Okay. We will, as I said, we'll total these up and we'll cut back in and let you know the results again as of the time of filming. Um, brute, brute Strength to start. Cartouche of Solidarity. Yeah, I got one that wasn't green. A non-green cartouche. There you go. Cartouche <laughs> of Knowledge. Well, I asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Nimble Blade Kenra. A Dune Beetle. Initiate's Companion. Horror of the Broken Lands. Luxa River Shrine. A Hooded Brawler, mm. a River Serpent, a Kefnet's Monument is the first uncommon, Battlefield Scavenger is the second, and Merciless Javelinier is the third. The second to last rare mythic is another Avon Mind Sensor. That's a little crappy, mm -hmm. uh, just because to have two of something that's not as valuable. Plus, it's a duplicate in ten packs, which is super annoying. There's a Forest and a Zombie Token. We end with an Honored Crop Captain pack... The final pack. Obviously, I hope there's nothing valuable in here, but I'm sure Amy hopes that there is something valuable <laughs> in here. Kind of the point. We'll see. <laughs> uh, we start with a Desert Ceridon. A Forsake the Worldly. Seeker of Insight. Pathmaker Initiate. Seen a lot of those. Doom Dissenter. Initiate's Companion. Lux of River Shrine. A lot of those. Hooded Brawler. River uh, Serpent. Yes. Nice. Look at those patterns. Uh, unwavering Initiate. <laughs> Synchronized Strike is the first uncommon. Nest of Scarabs again is the second. And another, and an Honored Crop Captain is Yay. the third. Uh, your final rare or mythic is a Heaven to Earth. Not super valuable. Again, we don't know whether I have won or whether Amy has won. Maybe you guys do if you've memorized card prices, but you'll find out in a second. But behind Heaven to Earth, anything else? Just a mountain and an exerted embalm thing. Um, why don't you hold on to this? Uh, that is the card that Amy's probably going to try to hang her hat on. We'll be back to you in just a second with the winner. So we're back. We have spent hours totaling all of these together. Obviously I'm lying, but still. Uh, we did take the time. We looked up the pricing just so that you guys are aware, so that you know how the rulings work. We have only looked at cards that were worth more than a dollar at the time of filming. At the time of filming, if you look down below uh, under this video, whether you're watching it on your phone, whether you're watching it on your computer, uh, you will see the date that this video was posted. This video is being filmed the weekend before that date. So be aware of that in terms of pricing. Don't come back to me and say, Joe, you're wrong. Drake Haven is like a million dollars. Why didn't Amy win? That's why. Uh, because we are looking at the pricing at this time and only looking at cards over $1. Um, we each had a valuable uncommon, uh, again, over a dollar. Amy on this side had Lord of the Accursed. I had Censor. Uh, but if you look at it this way, Censor is here for me, Scattered Groves, and Canyon Slough. I went through those pretty quickly because those are the cards technically that made me win. Because Anointed Procession, at the time of recording, is equal, literally equal in price to Amy's Lord of the Accursed, plus Never to Return, plus Pull from Tomorrow. So then we go to get rid of Anointed Procession and get rid of Pull from Tomorrow. We have Amy's Foil Commit to Memory, and we have my Liliana, but we also have Amy's Hazaret the Fervent, 
and nothing else in my stack. But, again, Liliana is equal to Hazard the Fervent plus Commit to Memory. So if we take these two away, and we take Liliana away, as I said, that leaves you with my Sensor, Scattered Groves, and Canyon Slough. Meaning that I, Joe, finally, about time, have won this Fiancé Finance Bundle Battle. Yay! And as I said, what does that mean, right? What does it actually mean? Well, what it means is that in an upcoming episode of our show, JAR, in fact, hopefully, the next episode of our show, JAR, where we will, like I said, review the magic stories, uh, Amy, as the loser, is going to be wearing something a little different, something a little ridiculous, if you will. Um, we picked up some stuff. We're not going to show it to you now. You'll have to tune in to see when that happens. If you want to know when that happens, the best way to find out is to click that button that will be appearing on the screen soon with our logo. You can subscribe to the channel, find out when more videos like this come out, more of our JAR series come out, so that you can see us review the stories, you can see us opening product. There are draft videos on this channel, those will be popping up on the screen as well. You can check out those, we've been doing those. And stay tuned, because it's pretty close. We are moving right along into the Hour of Devastation pre-release. We will be covering it as we have covered many other pre-releases in the past, the last many that we could even remember. Um, so stay tuned to the channel. You will see us covering Hour of Devastation, opening more Amonkhet product, doing more Amonkhet drafts. Just stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. On Geek For All, this has been the Fiancé Finance Bundle Battle. I've been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, guys, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks so much, everybody.